Our team coverage of the George Floyd protests continues here tonight. This afternoon, there were a few obvious moments that changed the tone of the demonstrations as police interacted with the protesters. Two News reporter Adam Reif continues our team coverage with how those moments resonated with protesters. They were two simple acts here on North Fairfield Road, but they had a very big impact. Giving a hug and taking a knee changed the tenor of this afternoon's demonstration. People are still frustrated. They are still angry, but for many today, there was an understanding. If they saw that video and they didn't see injustice, why are they still on the force? Hundreds of people releasing deep-seated frustrations Monday after using tear gas to control the crowd, one police officer approaching the protesters and answering their call. The police then spoke directly to the protesters. I'm tired of wearing the same. Y'all yeah. stay off the side of the road. We're going to open the road back up. I have no problem with taking a knee for everybody. Yeah! After a while, the police started talking to us, and they even kneeled for us and stuff like that, and that really changed the whole thing. Moments later, an officer singled out a young boy for a hug. It's great to see him again since we've been out of school for a long time. 11-year-old Alex came to tell police George Floyd needs justice. He got to see his school resource officer for the first time in months. One of the reasons he wants to be a police officer one day. Once they seen all the love and realized we weren't really out here trying to cause no trouble, I think they kind of just, you know, was like, okay, this is more peaceful, so we go ahead and let it go. It didn't solve every problem. More changes are needed, and some people are still afraid. Us black people have to communicate to, like, our children. Like, we may not come home today. We may not come home. But several generations. I see a lot of people that are not black um, that are here, and I know they care for us. Are trying to make a difference. We just want change. That's it. We just want something done. We just want to stop being killed. That's it. That's it. Back out live to the intersection of Fairfield and Pentagon that was packed hours earlier. That crowd did start to go home at about 8 o'clock this evening when that uh, order went into effect. But more than an hour later, people did quietly drive back to this intersection to pick up some of the water bottles and trash that had been left behind. Live in Beaver Creek, Adam Rive, 2 News, working for you.